What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> We're back on our YouTube game. And we figured we'd film a little bit on this Sunday. So just take you through a day in the life with us. Um, we are about to head to the gym, so we're having our pre-workout meals. We also thought we'd talk a little bit about pre-workout nutrition because we haven't really sat down and talked about any kind of fitness or nutrition topic in a lot of depth. Not that we'll get too detailed, but we figured we're eating our pre-workout meal. We might as well talk about it. Yeah, I already had my coffee uh, this morning. Katie's got hers got right here. Right now, we're about Cheers. we're about an hour and a half out from our workout start time. Typically that dictates, you know, what kind of foods we eat based off of how close we are to that lifting time. You don't want to eat a bunch of food right before you go. It's just not going to be good for you. Right now we've got uh, just our quick little breakfast that we eat whenever we're typically this far out from our workout. <laughs> you still trying to drink your foam? Yeah. You guys know foam's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Drink your foam, um, eat your foam. Yeah, you can eat it with a spoon, you can just sip it off the top, whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay, anyway. Today we're working out at 11 a.m. Uh, right now it is 9.39 a.m. So we're keeping our pre-workout meal a little bit lighter than we would if we were working out later in the day. So if I were to be, if we were to be working out at 1 p.m., um, my meal would be a lot bigger than it is right now. Typically, if you're, you know, 30 minutes to an hour and a half away from your workout, you want to go for something that's faster digesting. So I've got two rice cakes here. I put some whipped cream cheese and raspberry jam on top. This is around 200 calories, I want to say, um, but this is going to be perfect for for me and what I'm doing today. And then what do you have? I've got Kodiak's. Uh, a Kodiak cake, I guess. Um, this is their <laughs> thick and fluffy blueberry waffle. I've got two of them. Look how thick and fluffy these things are. <laughs> and then I just threw a tablespoon of peanut butter on them. Yeah, like she was saying, if we were a lot farther out from our workout time, it would have looked a little bit more egg-based. You guys know my breakfast with eggs, <laughs> uh, where it's got, you know, I've got my four slices of like whole wheat toast uh, with avocado spread, cream cheese, along with those four eggs. So typically that's a slower digesting breakfast. It'll give me energy a lot longer, but if I were to eat that right before, or say around this time where you're only an hour to an hour and a half out, it would kill me. I'd have cramping issues. I wouldn't have any of the energy. I'd have digestion problems. Nice, easy, simple, about four to 500 calories. Whereas my egg breakfast is almost double that. Again, the amount that you have just depends on how big you are, like your size, who you are, it, just a lot of different individual factors. So obviously mine is not gonna be as much as his because he's a lot bigger than me. He needs yeah. to eat double the amount that I do. If I were, you know, maybe two to three hours out from workout, I would probably focus on bumping my calories up. An example meal might be two pieces of whole wheat toast with two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons of peanut butter and banana, um, or oatmeal with a little bit of protein powder, nut butter on top, fruit. Basically, you want your pre-workout meal to be higher in carbohydrates, uh, moderate in protein, and then a little bit lower in fat and fiber. Fat is awesome. We need fat in our diet, but before a workout, since fat is you know, slower to digest than protein and carbs. It can kind of sit in your stomach for a while and kind of weigh you down, make you feel sluggish. Same with fiber too. Too much fiber can definitely kind of give you that not so great feeling in your gut. You definitely don't want that, you know, leading up to or during your workout because it's not going to help with your performance at all. You're not going to feel very good. Something like this, what we have in front of us, you know, works for us. Uh, you probably have to do a little bit more experimentation with what foods make you feel good and make you perform the best um, during your workouts. So it is a little bit of trial and error, but there are general recommendations that you should keep in mind when choosing your pre-workout nutrition. Is there anything else that you want to hit on? I think we... I think you covered most everything. Just your pre-workout nutrition will dictate what your post-workout nutrition typically will look like. Other than that, if you're a thick and fluffy person, you gotta have a thick and fluffy breakfast. <laughs> that's all. That's all I gotta say. Do you guys have any other questions related to your pre-workout nutrition? Let us know. Anything else to add? Nope. I gotta eat this. Yeah, we gotta eat. Uh, it's time to go to the gym, and then uh, we will cover our post-workout nutrition. Yes. After it. All right.
Peace. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. Okay, just got back from the gym and we're about to head over to my parents to watch the final round of the Masters Tournament. And so um, we're bringing food over there for a post-workout. I made oatmeal this morning. I like to make mine a few hours in advance. So I like the texture when it sits a little bit better. So I'm gonna bring this. I have one tablespoon of peanut butter on top and then I have some fruit that I'm gonna also add to this. Um, so push post. Um, so push post. So post-workout, it's super important to get adequate protein, of course. So anywhere from 20 to 40 grams, depending on the person, is kind of a good range to aim for. And here, of course, there's already protein, a little bit of protein in the oatmeal. But I like to add half a scoop to one scoop of caged muscle vanilla protein powder or whey protein isolate. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be vanilla, but... That's just the flavor I chose for today. So I've got that in here that adds a good amount of protein, an extra 10 to 15 grams. And then of course there's a little bit of protein in the peanut butter as well as healthy fats. And then some good carbs obviously from the oatmeal and then some extra carbs and micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants um, from the fruit that I'm gonna add. So that's what I'm having for my post-workout. I'm freaking hangry. That workout was awesome. But I need to refuel. I'm out of energy. Colin has his post workout meal over here. Yeah, it's my Sarkis tuna with the olive oil mixed in with white rice. And I put a cilantro lime salsa cremosa on there by her, uh, from Herdez. Herdez? 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 Yeah, I don't know which one it is. Um, but it's uh, zesty, got a little bit of spice to it. And uh, like Katie was saying, I've got 28 grams of protein, so I'm falling right into that category for post-workout nutrition. So, good amount of carbs, good amount of protein. I've also got my little concoction here. It's got my creatine in it. It's got my hydrocharge in it. And then my amino acids. All right, we'll see you at my parents' house. We're also gonna eat dinner over there. My mom's gonna make some food for us. Uh, so, we'll probably show you a little bits and pieces of what we get into over there. But that's Perfect timing, look who just showed up. It beeps. What's up, you wanna be in the vlog? Where'd you just come from? Just look like normal cool. 
Yeah. I'm kidding. Nice I just came from the range. Nice. How'd yeah. it go? Oh, it went great. Good. Yeah. Good, good. It really went great. Nice. I like the hat. Yeah, thank you. Where'd you get it? Will. Nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, every hat I have comes from Will. Cool. <laughs> he bought it at the that Philadelphia Cricket Club. Oh. I love the hat too. Nice. <gasps> Tiger! Hey, Hi, Tiger! <laughs> You, are you warm? You love the sunshine, don't you? Oh, I love you, Tiger. She's so cute. You guys, she's almost 20 years old. May 1st, she'll be 20 years old. She does not look like it, does she? No, she doesn't act like it either. She's gonna live forever. She's the best cat. I don't care what you say, she's always going to be the best cat there ever was, and there ever is. Hi! Hi! Range card, so I just. Hi! Oh, look at how cute she is. She's a model. Hi! No problem. Oh, Rory! Oh, Rory! Let's go up in there. Here's pet number two. My mom made dinner. We've got some chicken, some barbecue sauce, some asparagus, some corn, and some baked potato. And then teriyaki sauce if we want it. Looks like there's some butter. Mom, what did you put on this asparagus? Looks good. I it with virgin olive oil. Right, ready? Oh, yum, yum. <gasps> Rory, not for you. There's my mom's plate. What you got over here? Same stuff? Mm -hmm. All right guys, like most Sundays, we took a trip to Wally World. I got some more 2% milk. They had 2% this time, thank goodness, because I've been using 1% and it's just not the same. This is just so much creamier and thicker. You already know I like to use that in my coffee. And then I haven't gotten these in a long time, but these are just the Walmart brand of sparkling waters. So each one is like 10, 10 calories, um, two carbs, just from some of the, I guess, added sugar, but. She got me one. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> you can have one if you want to. Every once in a while, like, I'll crave a drink that's not just plain water, and so this is just a good um, alternative to actual pop or whatever else. I guess staying in that drink category, I also saw this Monster Zero Ultra Watermelon. Um, I haven't tried this flavor yet, so I decided to grab it. I don't really drink energy drinks all that much anymore. If I do, it's probably like once every three months. Um, I used to drink the White Monsters. I used to buy the, I think they came in like 24 packs from Sam's Club. And they had like eight white, eight of the blue, eight of the red. Oh. And I would have one every single day. And my stomach just can't handle them anymore. They don't make me feel the best. But every once in a while, when Mo Monster comes out with a new zero, <laughs> you just, gotta grab that. I, was... I like to try the new flavor. So I haven't had that one. I haven't had the new gold. I don't even know what flavor that one is. Um, I think there's one more I might have not had yet, but I'll have to go back and review all the flavors. But out of all the ones I've tried, white is by far my favorite. So we'll see mm. if this can compete. I doubt it. I'm not a huge fan of watermelon flavored things, but I figured I haven't tried it yet, so I will give it a try. The packaging looks super cute, so I don't know. Um, and then got a can of diced tomatoes and tomato juice. Uh, this is just needed to make our instant pot pasta and I'll probably make that sometime soon. Mm. And then I just got some tuna packets, hot buffalo style. This is ranch. And then the sweet and spicy. I've never had this one before, but I've had the other two and they're really good. And these are just really good options for on the go. 16 grams of protein. Good source of quick protein. I'll either eat these plain 
right from the packet or I'll put them on rice cakes or mix them in with rice or whatever, make a little mash or something. But for individual Greek yogurts, I like to buy mine in bulk from Sam's Club. They have the toasted coconut vanilla key lime now instead of vanilla, but well, and strawberry cheesecake. They come in an 18 pack, so it's a really good deal. But um, I like to save those for my yogurt bowls when I do have those for dinner at night. And then I just like to get individual ones for days that I don't have my yogurt bowl, just so I'm not eating yogurt all day, every day. And these are just a super quick um, way to get protein in. And I really like this. Dannon light and fit brand so I got blueberry another toasted coconut vanilla because last night I was draining the liquid on the top of them because sometimes they I don't know accumulate liquid on top So I like to drain that before I mix it and I freaking dropped the whole thing in the sink So I had to get one to replace yeah. black cherry is another flavor that I got this is really good and then I do not really like banana flavored things but I got banana cream because I've always wanted to try the banana cream from this brand because I love all of their other flavors so I decided to give this a try. I don't know, it might be like that bacon cheddar <laughs> cottage cheese that he made me buy the other day. No I don't know if that video is out yet or if this one will be out before. Yeah, watch that. I got a red onion. I just really like having red onion on hand. Uh, some bananas. And then finally, I got a Reese's egg. This is the white chocolate version. I haven't had, I don't think I've ever had a white Reese's before. So I got this, it was on sale for what, like 40 cents or something. They had like a huge bin of individual things on sale. So I got one and that is it. I was gonna say something else. Oh, I think with the red onion, I might throw this in some guac or make some pickled onions, pickled red onions mm. with this stuff. I've got some white wine vinegar that I can use to do that. So good, super easy. A nice little burst of flavor to add to different meals. So I'm gonna do that with that. Very versatile. If you didn't know, now you know. Go pick up a red onion on your next grocery haul. <laughs> now you know. Onions exist. <laughs> They're out there. <laughs> All, right. All right. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like she was saying, not a whole lot of uh, like necessarily staple ingredients. I guess the first most important. All of these are staple well, ingredients. What? They're just not yeah. things that we can buy in bulk. That, that I guess that's kind of what I meant. Yeah. But all very important things. And probably the most important part of my diet is eggs. And if you don't know, I eat four every single day. <laughs> every single day. I think I can't remember the last time I didn't eat eggs. On that note, if you guys have some good egg substitutes, let me know because I'm sure you guys know by now if you watch our videos. But I have an intolerance to eggs and I miss them so freaking much. So if you have an alternative um, that you know about, that you like, let me know because I need my egg fix. Eggs are the best. Yeah. Alexia, sweet potato fries, toss that in with uh, like salmon or some other protein for dinners typically. And then I got my stacks of tuna cans in olive oil. Super good, love that extra flavor. Not a huge fan of just plain tuna. The olive oil that they put this in really uh, changes the game. So, love using that for my lunches. And good healthy fats too. I know like yeah, a lot of people are scared to use oils when they're cooking just because of the fact that they are so calorie dense and high in fat. Um, but if you're careful about it, you, you know, you're aware of the serving size that you're using. I mean, it's a great way to get some healthy fats into your diet too. So don't be afraid of that. I mean, the only reason you would Maybe you have to be afraid of it doing damage to yourself as if you like pour a crap ton into the pan and then you don't really realize how many calories you are consuming. So if you're careful about it, if you know the amount that you're consuming, you know, don't feel like you have to use the spray all the time. You can't get the tuna in olive oil or anything like that. Yeah, game changer. 29 grams of protein per can. So, I mean, that's a really cheap protein source. Cause I think the four pack is like six bucks. So. And I mean, there is a lot of tuna in these cans that are packed in. So also wild caught, not farm raised. Love, 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 love Kodiak. These guys have 220 cals in them per waffle. So I'm gonna start uh, eating these things first thing in the morning. Throw some peanut butter on, maybe toss some bananas on, get a little crappy, but great way to get uh, a nice fast breakfast in before I gotta get out the door. Make sure I have something ready to go. So. These are gonna do it. Got two boxes of those. I think there's six waffles in each box. If you're good at math, it's 12. <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, just recently realized that I run out of shaker cups all the time. Got uh, 
two more blender bottles. The classic version, nice, cool, uh, off-white. Last but not least, I followed <laughs> Katie when she got her white, what is it, white chocolate? Yeah, white I chocolate. just got the regular. But anyway, uh, yeah, nice little uh, quick trip to Wally World. Let's get interactive here. What is one of your staples that you get every single week or you have to eat every single week? Let us know. But I'm gonna eat dinner number two. You have sweet potato fries in the oven. Mm-hmm, gonna throw those in with my salmon meal. And then yeah. that's gonna be the end of the video. Yeah. So let me just show you. You guys have seen this a million times. But this is my dinner number two. And then look at those babies. Ooh! Hot. Those look bomb. They smell bomb. Oh, and they've got a minute 18 left, so I'll take Ooh. them out for you. 